Hey everybody, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for changing orders with Interactive Brokers uh, API, specifically using the TWS Link 2 tool and uh, wrapper, uh, which is for CSharp.net. I'm also going to show you how to sell the corresponding order that you put and submit to uh, Interactive Brokers TWS. Now this is kind of tricky. Um, and uh, this is going to probably save you a ton of time as one video alone. It's not very well explained anywhere, even in the TWS link uh, to documents or the Interactive Brokers documents. This is what I see so far. So, first of all, I want you to look in my tray. Um, hopefully, you've been watching the TWS link uh, video playlist. Uh, there's a little license thing that pops up here. You can see it's not popped up, but if you come under here under your uh, description for let's say the place order, it can get kind of tricky. We have here a bunch of parameters. We have our unique order ID. That is what you get when you uh, register your contract. You also get your order ID that you can submit as a second parameter. And the very last parameter you can also submit what they call a parent unique ID uh, of parent order. So I'm going to show you some code in C++. Very simplistic, no different if you see it in here in the samples. But I want you to pay special attention to the examples I'm going to be using in this code that I'll show you. First, place an order, which is the standard. It's going to be the exact same order info that I'm going to show you, and it works. So we're going to send over to TWS an order, uh, a a um, a, uh, a contract ID, as we said in the very first parameter. So contract ID is the very first parameter here. Okay. So we do that. We do it by a limit order, Nasdaq on the exchange, the size, the price good to cancel, transmit automatically with no uh, parent ID, okay? That's the very first order we're gonna place, right? Second order. This is the second order we can do if you want to limit, or sorry, uh, change the pricing, let's say, on that first order. This is how we do it. We have our uh, con registered contract ID. Now our UID of order, which is in the from the previous order, okay, that we just sent over. I'll show you again in the code and I'll run it through a debugger. Buy limit NASDAQ. Here's the difference. We're now changing the price, which this is supposed to be 25.03 and everything else stays the same. Again, no parent ID, okay? No order parent ID. Uh, this is what I'm referring to. No parent ID, okay? Now when I say you, you, parent ID, I mean the very the previous one, the very first order. So let me show you the source code. This is a working copy of what I just showed you in C++, Visual C++. So what we're doing is this works. We can connect it to TWS, no problem. We register the contract, Microsoft, stock, USD, smart routing or the exchange, everything else is either zero or null. We get now a unique ID. That's for the registered contract, okay? So here, what we're doing is, in the very first <clears throat> in the very first order, is we're just gonna submit the first order, unique ID, right here. Uh, buy, limit order, the size, the price, Good to cancel, submit the order automatically, and that's it. No parent ID here. We don't know, we don't know what it is. But now we're gonna change the order. Okay, what I just showed you in the uh, the batch tool uh, right here, this guy. I'm gonna show you this is right the code. So here we now will get uh, after this second order has been placed, but we're really modifying the order. So now we remember we have our unique ID. Now, here's the trick, unique order, unique uh, of order, that's from the previous order, that's the very first order, but we're modifying that order by limit 
100. Now notice the price change here of 2503. The original price was 25, right? Everything else stays the same. It works, and I'll show you that code in a minute. The third order we're going to do is to actually sell it. This is the tricky part. Now, we're going to sell the very first order. We have our unique ID of the contract. We're going to sell. We're going to have a limit order. A hundred. We're going to sell all of them at $25. Good to cancel. Or maybe, uh, yeah. But here's the thing. Notice this. Unique ID of order. This is the very first order. This is the parent ID, parent order ID that we're talking about, which is essentially unique parent ID. That's the 10th parameter in place order. So that's what we're doing, and we're selling it. Okay? So, a couple of tricks here about TWS Link. Now, notice, again, you have no... Um, uh, instance of TWS link to running. Once I run this, okay, once I run this, you'll see that little TWS link uh, icon show up here. That means it's executing. You can only have one instance of that running on your system or per license, okay? Otherwise, you get into what you think should be running, but it's not, but it's conflicting, but at the same time, you don't get an exception. You don't get an error. You'll just it'll just continue. Okay, depends how you code it up. But even still, I, I think it'll just still return unique IDs and everything looks okay. But it's not. So you can only have one instance. So I'm gonna run this through the debugger. Okay, rebuild. Okay, so you can see our little execution mark is here. So now, but we haven't seen the instance of uh, TWS link 2 running yet. So I am going to step over and run the very first step. So there you go. There's our first icon. So now we're connected to TWS link 2 and connected into TWS. Now here's TWS right here. Now due to... Um, uh, space here, real estate, I am going to optimize this. Hang on here. Okay, you can still see the majority of the code. Now the other big thing you need to always remember is while you're running or setting up your um, TWS, do not forget to check the configuration settings, okay? Again, TWS link 2 will not report it ex with exceptions. Your code may not be coded right to throw off some exceptions, but just in case, make sure you enable ActiveX and Socket clients. There's usually another option in here where because you're um, allowing orders, um, you want to allow those as well. So download open orders on connection in this instance of the uh, TWS running, um, and you just for all the precautions, just click them all off. Click them on for all the orders, okay? Just just for testing. Production's a different story, but um, for now, uh, leave it as is, or as I suggest if you're like me, testing and developing. Okay, so now we've connected in the TWS uh, link in the, in, in the code. Now, we're about to run our register contract, okay? So, we haven't initialized our unique ID yet, so let me step over. Okay, so you'll see here in the unique ID, we have a unique ID now of 50013. You look in the code under register contract, the return code, that is correct. If it's over zero, unique ID of the register contract, so that's correct. Okay, going back to Visual Studio. Now, we're going to put our pl first place order in, which is a buy, and we're going to get our unique order ID, which is not initialized again. So let's run that step. So what you'll see here is our first order has been issued. Now, notice the price, $25. We're going to run the next step, 
and it's going to change that price to 25.03. Okay, check her out. So now you can see the price has been changed to 2503. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to execute but sell this uh, this um, uh, trade or entry. Okay, all we're wanting to do is just to show you how to match, like sell an order to the corresponding first order on, on your buy, right? So let's do uh, a step over. Now you have your sell, okay? It's gonna to try to sell that. Market's closed, but it's been submitted into TWS. Beyond that, you have no control. But let's check out the unique ID. So we have a unique ID of 137. That gets passed to here on the order when we change the order to 2503, correct? You wanna sell it, you're gonna sell it, keep that zero, but what you're doing is you're sending over the, the uh, parent order ID, which is here in the very first order, okay? Now you'll notice here that that icon's still running. You cannot terminate this session in your debugger because that will still stay running. So when you rerun it, while well, the first uh, icon's running of TWS link, a second session of TWS link will run, and guess what, it won't work. So what you need to do is just continue, let everything terminate as normal, but you'll see that that TWS link icon has disappeared. That will save you hours upon hours of time, okay? So um, if I rerun everything, everything will run as, as I expected, okay? So we'll just do uh, another order, another change in the order, and another buy. But this time I'm going to get rid of the breakpoints and just run it normally. Let's do a rebuild. And there you go. Everything's tickety-boo. But you see, no icon for TWS link at all. But you don't want that dangling because if it does, next time you run your little program, your TWS link 2 will not connect because this needs to be terminated normally. All right, so that is tips and tricks that you can use for changing orders and most of all selling those corresponding orders. With the TWS uh, broker, uh, Interactive Brokers API, hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.